Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video guys, we're gonna talk about what's happening in in our country right now, which is in the Philippines. So um, I will just have to express my opinion. Again, this is just personal guys and I don't have anything against the government or whatsoever. It's just that I am, I am so disappointed on how they handled the situation right now. So they're basically not proactive sa pag-close ng mga borders and then canceling the flights going in and out from mainland China. Again guys, we're not trying to be racist here. You know, we're trying to be open-minded kasi, you know, you are more concerned with the relations of your country through those countries like China pero you're not concerned about your own citizens. I'm kind of disappointed lang guys because they are not considering this as a national threat until pumotok today which is uh ano bang date na yun? which is January 30th which is Thursday they already confirmed that we have the first case of coronavirus from a 38 years old woman from China woman from China na she traveled from China to Hong Kong and then Hong Kong to Cebu, pumunta rin siya ng Manila. Now she's confined. I don't know which hospital is that because the thing in the news here, they don't mention the thing. So, you know, ang mahirap kasi dun, guys, we're not, again, like what I've said, we're not being racist with the Chinese. It's just that for us to contain yung virus para hindi siya, so that it won't spread out Kung saan saan. Siyempre, you have to close the borders. Yun ang silbi ng borders, guys. Eh. Basically, the government here doesn't want to close our borders, so they still let the Chinese people. And then previously, nung pumotok din yan, they don't take it as a serious threat, like what I've said. So, most of those Chinese nationals, once they travel out from any parts of China like Guangzhou, Beijing, Wuhan, Hubei, kung saan nang galing yung virus na yun. And then they they travel through airlines like China Southern, China Air China, you know, Cathay Pacific, uh, any airlines. Tapos, but once they landed in the Manila in the Philippines or anywhere in the Philippines, there's no quarantine guys. Take note, in US right now, I think they have like two options. So... First option is you undergo you un, you have to undergo for like 14 days quarantine so you'll have to be quarantined so ilalagay ka sa parang uh, ward or something they will of course they will provide you food and all sorts of stuff and then they will just monitor you if you are having you know if you came from any part of China again that's not being racist guys they're just trying to protect their own citizen as well Kasi pag kumalat yan, guys, mahira. A next option, if you don't agree with that policy, you have to travel back from US to mainland China. So, ayun lang, kasimpol. But in the Philippines, it's a different case, guys. So, basically, what's happening here is they're allowing those uh, Chinese people who traveled from those parts of area where the virus was spreading. So, ang ending, walang quarantine, guys. Kailan lang sila nagko-quarantine, quarantine kuno. So, ang, ang nangyari is, kumalat na siya. Yung mga nakasama niya, syempre, in a, inside of an aircraft or an airplane, whatever you call it, syempre, yung loob nun, guys, hindi naman niya nagsisirculate yung, ano eh, yung air condition sa loob. So, kung anong hinihinga ng isang passenger right next to the exit row, mahihinga rin niya nung nasa harap or from the first fifth of row, mga ganyan, kahit nasang part ka dun. She's now confined somewhere. They are, they were saying na nasa San Lazaro siya, pero they did not confirm that yet. So, we're not sure about that. So, nakakatakot lang, guys, kasi... Um, I'm. I also known some friends, like uh, international. I have some international friends as well, Americans, Europeans, and they even mentioned before that you know if you compare the facilities of Philippines, like uh, infrastructures and facilities, like especially with uh, hospitalization, mga hospital. As we all know, naman guys, hindi ko binabash ang bansa natin, pero we all know how bad it is. Kung mahirap ka, wala kang pera, walang anda, ganyan, whatever you call it, they won't even accept you. You'll just die there, which is the unfortunate thing. Sa US, they can't do that to you. They will treat you. Dito kasi guys, you know, I've experienced that before with my mom when she was 
when she had her uh, cancer. So, you know, ang hirap guys kasi kami kami lang yung nag, you know, it's just us who tried to, you know, get all the money, the business had to be put down and everything. So, mahirap guys, talagang, you know, the medical thing is really hard here. Look at Chris Aquino, she has money. When she had her sick, she even decided to go to Singapore para lang magpagamot instead of, you know, having her treatment here. Ganun guys, hindi, you know, kasi magagaling naman yung mga doctor dito guys, but again, like what I've said, wala tayo nung mga, uh, yung kalidad kasi ng hospital at saka mga equipments, ganyan, wala tayo guys as compared sa mga other countries. Like, I know someone and then I've also seen a vlog, a lot of foreigners are even saying that the hospitals in Vietnam and Thailand are way better as compared here. Even yung sa my St. Luke's guys, may mga naririnig din ako na parang mga bad feedback about it. Especially yung St. Luke's dyan sa my BGC. I've been there as well. Maganda yung facility. It's so Americanized. Pero, um, you know, there's still some flaws out there. So, ayun. At saka, mahal guys. Sobrang mahal magkasakit. As of the moment, I'm not sure if you get in, if you Let's say you get infected with that kind of coronavirus. Uh, they call it novel coronavirus. I'm not sure if that will be covered by those uh, health cards. We used to have those health cards when I used to work in offices and call centers. So I'm not sure who covered you guys. You know, kasi ang mahal guys. The I think if I'm not mistaken, one of the largest insurance here is. Uh, Pacific Cross, uh, one of the largest health insurance here in the Philippines. I know someone and then I used to work for someone uh, who also has a connection and who has a connection and managed to talk to the director of Makati Med Hospital from Makati and also the high-end hospital here in BGC which was mentioned by both of the directors. They are currently using Pacific Cross I think affiliated just a Blue Cross Blue Shield, which is also one of the top uh, health insurances in the United States of America. So I'm sure you mga ganun guys, cover niya yung mga ganyan sakit. Pero what if we don't have that and those things are expensive and not and most Filipinos guys cannot even afford that. Even me, I haven't gotten it yet. I'm planning to get one of that. So it's really scary guys kasi ang mahal eh, ang mahal ng hospitalization and then in the ho hospitals here won't accept you like what I've said. Especially big private hospitals, they will not accept you if you're sick. Kasi walang magagawa yung PhilHealth guys eh, discount lang yun. It won't cover all the costs or whatsoever. So yun yung mahirap guys eh. and then they're just allowing the Chinese nationals to go in and out here. Walang quarantine, walang proper, you know, mga ganito, ganyan. So, nakakatakot guys kasi, you know, you can say na, ah, malakas naman yung immune system mo. No, it's not because you're not sure when that virus will attack you. At this point, guys, so it's, it's really upsetting because, you know, they should have prevented it kahit papano. Because... Kasi ang lala, lumalala na ngayon guys eh. Like, um, sabihin mo nang let's say we're still young and then we're healthy, hindi naman tatamaan tayo ng ganyan. It's hard to tell guys kasi ang dami nang namatay. So, and then at the same time, wala pang cure. So, you know, we're not trying to be racist with the Chinese people but it's really upsetting because, you know, I just don't understand why, you know, we cannot generalize everybody because not all Chinese also eat those kinds of stuff like the bat soup, yung mga ganun, or snake soup where they, okay, where where did where that coronavirus came from? So, you know, it's just upsetting. Why would you even eat those kinds of things? Like, cause you know, if I'm not mistaken.